just take a look at the Woodward Dream Cruise. Every year on the third Saturday in August, all along a 16 mile stretch of suburban Woodward Avenue, car lovers engage in a great American pastime, cruising. In just over a decade, the cruise has become the single largest automotive event in the world, attracting over a million and a half people and 40,000 cars. The Dream Cruise gives auto enthusiasts a chance to relive the glory days of America's hot rods and muscle cars. Larry Payne remembers what cruising Woodward was like in the 50s and 60s when drive-in restaurants were the center of the action. It was really quite a thing with the drive-in. Everybody pulled into the drive-in, you'd line up to get in to get a spot, and you would uh, chip in the money. Coke was 15 cents, hot dogs were uh, 50 cents, hamburgers were 45 cents. And you would usually share one because you didn't have enough money because you had to buy gasoline. It was 18.9 during the uh, gas wars. Almost every night, over 2,000 drivers would come out to race. It was the car culture, the competition, bragging rights was so important of who beat who because it lasted forever. In the 1970s, the police started to target the cruisers on Woodward. They eventually put signs up that said, no cruising through drive-ins. And if you went through and didn't buy an item like a Coca-Cola, you'd get a ticket. And so that was the beginning of the end of the drive-ins. The cruising era ended, but fans kept the flame alive. They kept and restored the cars and waited for the day they could hit the streets again. The Dream Cruise evokes thoughts of good times long gone and creates new memories for car lovers today.